Oh, here we go. The new hotness. Super sexy. my pants but we will see I don't know about you guys I'm fucking stoked just waiting for my insurance stuff to come through and we'll be good to go oh hi sexy bike I'm back again I literally just got done with the financial proctology exam and then I ran right into a conference call so about an hour worth of staring at this. Peter, the old schoolhouse is on fire. Let's go. One to twin, twin powers, powers activate. activate. Form of a hawk. Come on, Peter. Yeah, I'll be right behind you. Shape of Jaina's tampon. <laughs> and now I play the waiting game. And all the freaking paparazzi therein, snapping pictures of it, trying to molest my bike but we're finally here so i have not heard this thing yet i don't know what it sounds like i've heard some on youtube but never have i heard the actual so let's see here what we got Thank you. 
sorry about the noisy day that we're going to get because tomorrow, or I guess the night, it's supposed to be 8 degrees and snowing for the next two days. So you can imagine why we went and got this thing today. So, super excited to have this thing. I've actually, uh, what it about me, I started out with a uh, YZF 600. Um, not not like an R6 or anything like that, the banana seat version. And uh, it was uh, real fun. Got it for three grand or so. Rex, we called it patches. Because it, it was Rex. Uh, but that's really what I learned to ride on. I learned how to ride on a 600. From there, I had it for about three weeks before my wife said, hey, this might like go get your own. So I went and bought an 08 600RR graffiti. I don't know if you guys know anything about that bike. Super sexy. And uh, rode that. Had a great time for a couple of years with that. And, uh, and then uh, moved into Dallas. And uh, if you've been to Dallas or ride around there or anything like that, you'll know that those guys can't fucking drive to save their life. So uh, ended up selling that bike. And, uh, I got three kids, didn't want to die. Literally, I kid you not, I'm, I went to meet my brother for lunch, uh, one day. And it was, uh, a beautiful day, nice and clear. I went and to drive a road, you know, three miles down the road. Almost got taken out three times, I kid you not. And at that point in time, I was like, you know what, don't really want to ride on the street down here. You can't freaking drive. So, danger enough, dangerous enough to the cars there, but, uh, in Kansas City, we did bike nights and all kinds of other stuff. Had a good old time. No issues or anything there. But Dallas is freaking death trap for bikes. So, uh, I decided to hang it up at that point in time. We literally just got to Denver a few uh, September. And uh, been wanting this bike for a long time. So, I can that. So, been wanting this bike for a long time. And uh, I had that, that 600 RR, and I've pretty much done everything to it, everything other than cracking the motor and doing like a race stuff to it. And I mean, I had suspension done to it. I had like I had a gear indicator integrated into the the little gate cluster thing there. Okay, I got the retard lights still going on. And that's it all. But uh.
So I got the bike. It's ridiculous. I sat on the thing, splooged my pants. It's it's just ridiculous. The, the sound is amazing. It it vibrates your loins. It, like I, I don't know what to say. The bike is a work of art. I, I'm sure you guys have seen it. You've heard it. Um, but until you really kind of sit on it and just it vibrates the jizz out of you from the inside, you you just don't understand or appreciate the level that this bike went to. It's just ridiculous. I think I've said it about 80,000 times. I don't, there's no words to describe just how amazing it sounds. So it, like, if you think of the, the, you know, muscle cars and stuff like that, when those things just start up, they just sound angry. Now imagine that you're sitting on that and all that vibration is happening in your Takulo. It is, it, it's, 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 awesome. That's really, really what it is. One of the things I found out after I started this thing was, hey, I didn't have the right adapter for audio. So I've got a GoPro Hero 5. I didn't have the appropriate audio adapter. I had a little USB-C to uh, stereo adapter and it didn't work. So I have to do a little voice over here. Um, yep. The bike is amazing. So rather than listen to me prattle on about a bike that I just got and how amazing it is, I'm not going to do a review right now. Uh, I'm going to wait to have some miles on it and uh, that way it's, I mean really, it's going to be biased. Hey, how about the bike? What can I say? It's amazing. I've wanted it for forever. So uh, it, I don't imagine that my experience is going to change too much with it because the bike's ridiculous. Um, I do have the adapter for the the GoPro, so going forward audio um, while I ride is going to be much better. Uh, and I'm also setting up a, uh, a website um, really just for developing community, feedback, suggestions, all that kind of stuff, growing and communicating. Uh, I mentioned in a part that you may or may not have been able to hear due to how uh, loud the bike is with the stock GoPro um, recording because the audio, I guess, didn't want to take via the internal mic. Um, uh, my goal is ultimately to kind of connect with, you know, some of you guys out there and, and get to doing some track days and stuff together. So um, uh, creating the, the website and stuff to really coordinate some of that and some of those activities. So uh, look forward to some of that stuff. Uh, at the end of the video, I have a little clip with my boy. Um, so if you stick around for that, cool. Uh, but until then, here's some music uh, while I ride. So hope you enjoy.
No, buddy. My boy, who's sick, decided to rapidly throw on some boots so that he could be seeing the motorcycle. I Clearly, he must I not be that sick. Uh, those are more snow boots, bud. Um, no. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. It's still good. Yeah, it is. Thank you for bringing this motorcycle. Yeah, do you think you're getting it for Christmas? Yeah. Or is Daddy getting it for Christmas? Not you. <laughs> He's like, that is a trick question. Oh, this is hot. Yeah, it is hot. This, I need to get gloves. You need to get gloves? I need some motorcycles. Oh, you are? Play me? I need help. <laughs> Alright. Watch out, it's warm. <laughs> wow, look at this, Mom. Yep. The motorcycle. I need money. You don't need money. Probably, I Those need that though. Keys? Yeah, that's key that makes the bike go. <laughs> yeah, you look like you're like an Edward Scissorhands or something. Uh, in case you guys don't know, the objects Ooh, in the mirror. I need a helmet. I need a yeah. helmet. Oh, and another bonus tip for you guys: if you buy one of these and you Uber there, there's a box that this thing comes with Even for different seat cowl, manuals, and stuff. It's a good size box. Not one that you're really gonna get in a backpack unless you have like a legit big backpack. I love so plan accordingly. I gotta go back and get it.